Hi guys, it's Brooke Hoover. I'm a guitar teacher in Cedar Rapids, and uh, I uh, was I've been working with a student since he was just uh, maybe about eight years old. He's a high schooler now. It's probably over ten years we've worked together, and uh, I don't know how long it's been. Really, don't I'll have to ask him. But he he's doing two lessons a week with me now this summer. Plus, he's taking piano lessons. He's taking music theory plays in uh, school, orchestra, and band. Um, we found something that kind of bothers him, and I love this. This is, this is fun. It's the Mixolydian mode. So we are... I'm going to choose a Mixolydian. Let me give you an example. This is what he's hearing. Here, here it comes, a Mixolydian. It drives him nuts because he wants to play... Um, Ionian, which is the major scale. One note difference. Catch catch the difference. Can you hear it? Let's do Mixolydian again. And Ionian. So yeah, it's the seventh degree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's major. We're flatting it from a G sharp to a G, bringing it down a half step. Which, if you follow my channel for a while, you know I like the sound of like. That uh, whole step to the root. This is exactly, I think it's awesome. So. It just it blows his mind every time so we <laughs> we'll have to work on that some more but I just like how it caught his ear and and he's really interested in that but it it bothers him you know you find things that bother you and you have to kind of adjust your uh, perception of the world to new facts sometimes so uh, I experience that sometimes and I feel ridiculous for a few minutes that Something I thought was totally true. I find out I've been doing it, something way wrong. You gotta change. Anyway, so he, he'll do fine. But let's have some fun with this Mixolydian mode. So A, let's do it with that open strings again, like we did recently. I'll we'll take it down to maybe that low G. G, A, which has that gnarly. You know, kind of a powerful driving uh, effect getting from that G to the A. So uh, let's do the open scale again. It's uh, A, B, C sharp. Then we've got D, E, F sharp. Easy enough. And the G to A. So, the cool thing about this mode is that it is major, so it's going to fit in normal, you know, major chords, but it's got that kind of rock sound with that flatted seventh. And it also, uh, an example of Mixolydian I, I love to use is this Beatles song. I'll do it in G, like uh, that's G Mixolydian. You probably recognize that. Um, I'm gonna do a, a run descending using Mixolydian. up and down. So these are easy to figure out. You know, you just gotta find your root note, root, go to the second, go to the third, third to the fourth is a half step, whole step to uh, the fourth, 
Wait, that's a fifth. Whole step to the sixth. And here's where it's different. Half step to the seventh, the flatted seventh. And that whole step to the root. If you uh, land on the third, it sounds melodic and kind of, uh, it's a target, it's a note, it's a chord tone, so it sounds good to land on the third. Any way you can exercise running up and down, uh, getting your ears and fingers kind of familiar with that sound would be great. Um, that's on the third string. Let's do the first string. We'll go high up the neck. So I skipped over to the second string. Um, a good bend, I think, is that G up to A. And hitting that major third. I think the temptation might be to uh, hit the minor third, which really you could blend that in if you want to expand out of the scale a little bit like this. So I took that minor third and raised it to the major third. Half step bend C to C sharp. That wouldn't destroy our key or anything. Here it is down low. Here's a lower C. You can kind of put that in as like a passing tone or a, you know, an extension. You're outside of the key a little bit. No biggie. You can add a little something else. Um, that's what's fun about scales. Yeah, you learn the scale, then you can add a little something to it, a little spice, a little flavor. Doesn't destroy the key or, you know, pollute it too badly. If it sounds good, it's great. So uh, eventually you might want to do like a bigger pattern on the neck. You know, I'm just giving you some smaller sections to work on or patterns. Um, if you did like a, let's see if I can do a fuller pattern up the neck. Uh, Well, there you go. That might be something if you want to, you know, if you've got a, a, a grasp on the, the scale, the notes, and the sound, and the formula. Next step is to move it up the neck, and, uh, you know, you can get into some kind of... Uh, kind of busy... busy work up there, you know, move, speed up a little bit when, when you're ready. <laughs> you know, when you're playing on stage and you've got a band and a dr drums and bass and, you know, a little bit of volume, you, you might crank it up and start flying a little bit. But uh, obviously I just got out of bed here, so I'm pacing myself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, Mixolydian's really, really cool. So it's just a nice tool you can use for uh, improvising and songwriting and, you know, creating melodies and riffs. And that's about all I know about that. So uh, thanks a lot for stopping by. If you could subscribe, that helps me a whole bunch. I do have my uh, chord book available. If you are ready to dig into some chords, I do have a chord book that I would love to send you. And... Uh, they're 20 bucks plus some shipping. So let me know if you want to work on some chords. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to read those and respond to as many as I can. Not that I'm too big, not that my channel's too big to read all the comments. But uh, thanks a lot and have a good weekend.